surpassed the 2K experiment? <laughs> Um, no, I, it, I didn't play this well uh, <laughs> on the video game, and, uh, but it's a good start, you know. Um, man, it's almost like the new guys have been here, you know. Started with George and, you know, his uh, on-the-ball pressure and, you know, him just running the team. And then the three guys came off the bench. Um, you know, Jordan is, uh, you know, he's ready to score at any point in time, but his composure was great. Uh, Rodney plays with so much poise. And, and uh, you know, Larry was just controlling the you know the perimeter, saying great pick and rolls, got him alive, got him a dunk. Uh, so, you know, it's a good start for the new guys, good start for all of us, you know, with our revamped team so far. Lauren, how about the way that you guys contested defensively? It didn't seem like they had many free looks. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Um, I know we've been preaching it for quite a while, but it hasn't resulted in the numbers or wins. And uh, you know, but we feel like right now, with the type of um, caliber players that we have now. Um, that we can we can defend at a high level. Um, there's going to be some games where teams make shots. We understand that, but you know tonight we, we felt like we just wanted to contest all the shots we could and make them try to miss as many as we could and get clean glass. And we did a good job of that. The ability you guys have to switch now uh, does that make you a better matchup with them? The way, kind of the way they like, they like to play. Um, well, I mean I think they're playing better basketball than we are. You know, especially for the majority of the season, we we got some uh, we got some work to still do. You know, we're just coming together. Uh, the guys don't quite know everything that we want to do, uh, you know. And we got to have some practice times and get that. Watch a lot of film, so we got some catching up to do with not only Boston but Toronto and Philadelphia and all the other teams in the Eastern Conference and the rest of the league to try to get on the page where we feel like we're confident enough to go out and win a playoff game. Are you surprised that they played out the way they did? Uh, I'm never surprised by anything, uh, you know. But I think, um, you know, the way we play the game tonight is the way we want to continue to play it. I noted a, a shift in the team spirit. I wanted to see what you thought of you guys' demeanor on the bench like for, for guys on the court and just how that, that helped the overall product. Well, I mean, listen, we want our, <clears throat> all our teammates to be successful. No matter if you're in the game or out of the game, I think it, you know the starters did a great job and then the bench came in and picked it up. And starting the, from the, the opening tip all the way to the end of the game, and, you know, we all, uh, was rooting for one another and that's big time. Is there 20, 20 fast break points? Is that what could be coming? I'm not saying every night, but... Well, I mean, we don't know. We don't know. I mean, if we can get stops, we got enough athleticism where we can get out and run. Uh, we got enough unselfish guys where if you don't have a shot, we're going to get other guys involved. So um, it's up to us to get stops, and then we can get out and go. How does George Hill's game compliment you and help you? Uh, I think George Hill's basketball IQ compliments me. The guy's been in so many big games. Um, you can tell he know how to play the game. It's smart, um, you know, big, physical. Uh, so we definitely gonna work well together. You've had a long robbery with Paul Pierce. Was this one last chance to get a word in? No. How, how did you uh, how did you respond to that? Uh, obviously, statistically, you responded quite well, but we need to go out in the first quarter. Uh, injury scared. Uh, well, Baines is a, a a big boy, man. Yeah, he should be uh, in his off time. He should be on Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, him and Steven Adams, and uh, you know, and I got to see him next. So I took a uh, took a knee to the quad, kind of knee to the side of the knee, uh, you know, and, and it hurt uh, big time. So uh, you know, I got a couple of days until we go, uh, well, until we play in OKC Tuesday night, and uh, hopefully I'm ready to go. Was there something with your finger too? Uh, yeah, but I'm fine. That's that's uh, that's minor. It's going to be special to get a win on the night that Paul Pierce should be an honor in this uh, We just want to win games. And uh, it was good, great to get a win. What's the key to Nick the last 30 games for you guys in match? There's not a lot of practice. We wanna, uh, well, we gonna, we, I know we're going to play every other day, especially after the break. Um, but we have an opportunity to watch a lot of film. And then when we do get on the floor, um, you know, just go over what we want to do every night. Um, you know, we got some smart guys that came to our team that picked up some things very quick just from our yesterday's practice and today's shoot around. So you know, that's a good start. Good to see JR back on track. Uh, you know, JR uh, gave us something, something tonight to let us know that he's still here. Hey, and Jetty's a this dunk. Did you say anything to prop him up? No, nah, to Jetty? No. Yeah. Listen, he missed the dunk. It happens. Yeah, right. It happens. And uh, we move on to the next play. Uh, he made back to back threes in the fourth. Uh, Jetty is a, you know, he had an and one. He's a great player. Uh, he's continuing to get better and better. So we're not going to say much about the missed dunk. <laughs> yeah, see, see, I'm not gonna say much about it. <laughs> who me? Uh, listen, uh, at the end of the day, just like being around guys who want to play and work hard, uh, I know I demand a lot of excellence from my teammates, but I demand it out of myself too. And uh, you know, if we're on the road. We want to try to play as well as we can and 
put ourselves in contention to try to compete for another championship, and that's my mindset. One last question. In terms of bonding, did you ask for a better deal? You know, guys are coming up, you know, cheering for each other. Up and um, Execution. Well, I know that the guys that um, you know that's here, they're very excited about this opportunity, and it's my job to keep them excited about being here and joining something that, um, you know, obviously the last couple of months haven't been as what we expected. But over the course of the four years since I came back, it's been you know, really good basketball. So it's my job as the leader of this team to make sure that I acclimate uh, the new four guys uh, to be around a culture that's uh, built around winning and built around practicing championship habits. habits. So that's it.